Good morning my darlings, welcome to a new What I Wore in a Week video. I'm going to be sharing with you everything we're getting up to this week and what I am wearing. So it's currently Tuesday morning, I really need to start these vlogs on a Monday but I'm Monday is always my kind of boring admin day um, and I'm normally at Soho House where you're not allowed to film so filming is usually a bit of an epic fail. But it's a beautiful Tuesday morning, apparently Storm Freya is coming to the UK so I am making the most of every second of the sunshine. I've just been out for a long walk and fitness class. I know I keep going on about it but I'm obsessed with using ClassPass, Georgia downloaded it for me on my phone um, and now I'm just obsessed with trying new fitness things near where we live so I just did a hit class at a place called Encore this morning, it was a 45 minute very intense hit class and I literally woke up this morning and I was like, hmm, I want to do some hit today. So I booked it on the app. People probably think I'm sponsored by ClassPass, not in any way. I just have it as a new obsession and I think I have a code where you can get a discount on your first month, maybe even your first month free. So I'll leave that link down below. Again, not sponsored, I just think that you guys would enjoy it and it works everywhere. I looked um, in like the US, in New York, in LA, in Dallas, all those kinds of places. So yeah, check it out. Um, so my first outfit of the week is my gym outfit. So let me show you what I am wearing or what I wore this morning for my class. Okay, so this is what I currently wear when I go to the gym. I always put on this coat. It's um, a really nice padded jacket. I got this a couple of years ago from Ted Baker. I think they actually have a really beautiful pinky champagne coloured version now. So if I can find that, I'll leave it linked down below. But this is one from a couple of years ago. I get loads of questions about it because it's just, it's so lovely and flattering and yet it's so warm. It's got this faux fur collar which I think is detachable and then this elasticated waist belt just makes it so much more flattering than you know a normal puffer jacket that just doesn't really have much shape to it. So the waist belt makes a lot of difference and you've got these zippy pockets. I always pop my reusable water bottle, my earphones, my wristband if I'm going to the gym, my purse and also a hand sanitizing spray in this uh, bag. You may remember I got this from Kate Spade. Oh, I've also got this amazing um, L'Occitane Aqua Riotier face spray and I know you're technically just paying for very lovely water on your face but there is nothing more refreshing than misting your face after a workout. So that is in there. My water bottle which is from Swell. My purse which I honestly think is the most perfect purse I've ever owned. I will try and find this and leave it linked down below as well, but it's got um, like a card wallet section which is overflowing, it's got a section for the notes and my receipts, and then a little coin area. And I think it is so beautiful and this Safiano leather is really indestructible as well, it doesn't get scratched or anything like that. I've had it for probably nearly a year now, but it still looks good as new. And then this is honestly the best thing to have in your handbag after a workout. So I normally obviously like wash my hands after a workout but sometimes I'll just if I'm just literally running out really quickly to get home then I'll just put some of this on it's the Neil's Yard organic defense hand, oh, hand sanitizing spray it smells absolutely amazing and it gets rid of I think 99% of any bacteria so especially if you've done something where your hands have been on the floor or you've been holding ropes that other sweaty people have been holding it's just nice to use this and yeah smells really good so I pop all of my essentials in my little backpack and then I normally put on, hang on a second, okay and then I normally have some kind of jumper on underneath my coat just for a layer of warmth and cosiness because it's normally quite early when I leave the house. This is just a super cosy one from Topshop, it's just super stretchy and really really soft. Then. You're probably going to see quite a few workout outfits this week because so far I have done a workout every day for the last 11 days so I'm going to try and keep up that streak. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to fit one in tomorrow though because we're going to Heads or House but I'll try and fit one in um, when I get home because I think Charlie's at rugby training so I might do a reformer Pilates in the evening. But yeah, I'll show, we, I'll show you lots of workout outfits because I'm going to be wearing a lot in this vlog. So my leggings today are just these really plain ones from Sweaty Betty. I, there's something really nice about plain black leggings, like these ones have got the Sweaty Betty butt lift technology so they make your booty look really good. 
they're quite high waisted so I feel like they tuck in um, any tummy areas. I think these are called the pocket ones because they do actually have a little pocket detail here. I'm not really sure what you'd put in it, maybe like a tissue or something, but really flattering leggings. My trainers um, are sock trainers and these, again, I absolutely love these. I've had these for, Charlie actually chose them for me. They're from Adidas, um, I've had them for over a year. I put them in the washing machine when they get grubby, but I love that you can just literally slip them on and off. So if you're in a rush, then you don't have to faff around with laces. My socks are also sweaty Betty. They've got a bit of a lip. I don't know if you can see this here. So it just means that you don't get any blisters. Next layer, and I normally only wear this layer to warm up. I don't usually wear this particular top, but all of my others are in the wash. Um, this one is really cute. It says cheerleader. I think I got this in a goodie bag for a like a fitness cheer seed yogurt launch at some point but I normally take this off after the warm-up and then I've just got my sports bra and this one is uh, a Reebok sports bra and I think I got this from a collaboration I did with Shaw Deodorant they collaborated with Reebok so I felt quite chic in an all black gym outfit and I don't normally have abs by the way but it's because I haven't properly eaten my breakfast yet this morning so this is my gym outfit that I wore this morning. This sounds really tragic but when I do a new workout class for the first time I tend to normally wear all black because for example when I went to Milo and the Bull the other day it was a really like cool fitness class and I didn't want to be the one turning up in like my pink gym wear so when I'm trying somewhere new for the first time I'll normally go in all black just so I'm quite like you know chic and normal and then the next time I go I'll wear my flowery leggings and be all wild so yeah the rest of the gym outfits you're going to see this week are going to be a lot more snazzy than this black number but yeah I do I do love this sports bra actually I find it quite flattering um it gives me a little bit of cleavage which is quite amazing but it is a nightmare to get off so before I have the struggle of getting it off I'm going to put my slippers on and I'm going to go and make a smoothie so it changes a little bit every time I make it, but this is generally what I put in my post-workout smoothie. Sometimes I'll put um, almond milk, but at the moment I'm really liking hazelnut milk or uh, tiger nut milk, so that's what makes it liquidy. I've got a little mixture here of frozen strawberries, raspberries and blueberries, and then I've also got some blackberries. We didn't pick up any in the farmer's market, so I'm very annoyed I had to get some in all of this plastic wrapping, but I am hugely trying to reduce any plastic packed uh, food that I buy. Some almond butter I find just gives a really nice finish to it. I've got some beauty oil from Neil's Yard Remedies. Oats I add in when I'm a little bit hungry or if it's going to be kind of like a breakfast smoothie. Some protein is always good after workout and this one is a hemp vanilla protein from Vidigo. I really like that one. Um, and then maca powder is really good for fiber and things like that after a workout. So this is what I'm going to add into the Thermomix. Let's do it. because the washing machine is going off but I have just tried this and it is without doubt the best post-workout smoothie I have ever made um, I think I might do a little blog post on a few different recipes because this has to go down somewhere permanent so that I don't forget exactly what I put in this it is so tasty and I don't know if you just saw I just finished with some bee pollen I first discovered bee pollen at a bar class in Marlebone and it was like I think £1.50 extra to add bee pollen. I love the just kind of like sweetness of it, but it's also really good for fiber and protein, uh, which is obviously great for muscles after a workout. So yeah, it was like £1.50 after uh, in a smoothie after that workout, but I just was on Ocado yesterday and, sorry, a couple of days ago, it arrived yesterday and this big bag of bee pollen from Dalesford, I didn't know Ocado now have Dalesford stuff, 
was five pounds and obviously I'm gonna be able to make like a hundred smoothies from that amount so I've just sprinkled some of that on I don't like getting smoothies from workout places anymore firstly they nearly always come in this plastic pot and with my reusable coffee cup and my reusable water bottle in my handbag I just don't have room for also a reusable smoothie thing and I very rarely remember to take a straw out with me so I prefer to make them from home but that washing machine is so loud yeah I prefer to make them myself at home and I feel like I've now got some really good recipes and they're just as good if not better than the very expensive ones at the workout places so yeah if that blog post is done I'll leave a link down below if not I've just done an Instagram story with all of the different ingredients in this so if you want to recreate it and know the exact measurements etc I will save that Instagram story to my highlights but anyway I'm gonna enjoy my smoothie and do some emails so I'll catch you a little bit later don't wanna wake up I might be dreaming several hours later you just saw a time lapse of me opening up some new furniture I ordered a lovely marble kind of flower topped side table um, from anthropology they had a 20% off sale so that's what you just saw now as you can see I'm glammed up and tonight I'm going to Annabelle's which is a really beautiful members club in London and they have a gorgeous dining room called the flower room and I'm going there for dinner tonight to celebrate the launch of the 2019 dress code um, dress code for Royal Ascot I'll tell you a bit more about it a bit later because I am running late because I have to go to a store to pick up some stuff ahead of tomorrow's shoot at Hedza but I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing so we're in the legendary floral ladies room at Annabelle's and this is a much better place for me to show you my outfit of the evening so the dress is a little self-portrait number although technically not allowed in the royal enclosure because I've got skinny straps but I've got my little Ted Baker uh, bolero crop jacket on over the top to cover my shoulders my bag, I've got my little Valentine's Strathbury. I hope you can hear me over the Mexican music. Um, and then I've got my little Valentino Rockstead shoes as my footwear. This is all that happens in the bathroom for Annabelle. <laughs> Caught on camera. I think but do you dinner? I know, but it's so worth it. I mean, this room is so beautiful. It is absolutely worth it. Good morning darlings, it is Wednesday and as you might be able to tell from the beautiful surroundings we are in Heads or House, we're doing some filming today. Um, so we've actually, we've actually just finished, it is now the afternoon and this is just what I'm going to be travelling home in. I've been wearing loads of different outfits today for filming. So I've got on my River Island um, snake pattern jeans which I'm absolutely in love with and finally they fit me, I got the next size up to my original pair. And then my Tory Birch heeled mules which again absolutely love um, really comfy and a nice heel height as well and then I've just got a plain white t-shirt on underneath this and my and other stories jumper which I'm just gonna tuck in lightly it's a little bit itchy if I don't wear it with a thermal or a t-shirt on underneath but I just like how this looks with all the neutrals so that's the outfit of the day ah, good morning darlings it is Thursday today working from home day today which I'm really looking forward to because I feel like I've had a couple of days out of the office and I've got quite a lot of stuff to catch up on, a lot of emails to do, some editing etc etc. Outfit of the day therefore is very relaxed, this is the same t-shirt, plain white t-shirt that I was wearing yesterday, I've got a couple of necklaces on and then literally this is what I wear to work from home pretty much every day just my Kate Spade leopard print trousers um, that I got in the January sales a couple of years ago so very casual I wanted to do a very quick first impressions with you because yesterday at Headsaw I unboxed some um, beauty products that had very kindly been sent to me from some brands and yesterday in my Instagram stories I did a first impressions of mm -mm -mm, 
these new Tom Ford lipsticks. Absolutely loved wearing this yesterday. When we were filming at Headsaw, I was wearing this one, which is um, number 02 uh, Quiver Matte. And it looks like this beautiful brownie pink shade, quite similar to my Sable Smoke, which I wear pretty much as my everyday lipstick. Also in my blog mail, I received a really lovely package from MAC. It seems that everyone is doing new lip launches at this time of year, and I'm yet to try this out. So they sent this little kit... <laughs> they sent this little kit, which basically prepares the lips for applying a matte lipstick, because as we all know, um, matte lipsticks can be quite drying on the lips so having already nourished lips is a really good idea so what they recommend is you use a lip conditioner maybe the night before SJ yesterday actually gave us a good tip of using like a toothbrush to get rid of any dry skin on the lips and then putting on a lip balm overnight also in this little kit is this which is the MAC prep and prime I don't know if this is for the eyes or for the lips it looks like a lip balm um, so that looks like this, so I'm going to put some of this on my lips now. It smells like mini eggs. <laughs> mm. That's nice and balmy. And then they've popped uh, three different lip liners in here. I'm going to go for the shade Spice, as it's a really nice brownie nude, very much up my street. Just the lip pencil in the shade Spice, kind of a your lips but better type of shade. And then, they actually sent over a whole host of colours, but I've picked out my two favourites to show you. We've got the shade Mullet Over, and it's in their new matte packaging. So I don't know if you can tell, it's actually uh, mattified, kind of like the texture of NARS Makeup Compacts. But as you can see, literally it's been in my handbag for like one day, and it's already a little bit messy. That's the problem. But the shade of this is beautiful even the lipstick itself looks a little bit more chalky in texture so i can tell that's going to be really matte and then this one is called kinda sexy it's not in the matte packaging it's in the normal matte packaging and this is the shade i don't think this is a new one i think this is from an existing collection but that looks beautiful so i'm going to put the mullet over on for today I don't know how much you can see in this light, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Big fan of that. Hopefully it's going to last well. I have prepared the lips with the Prep and Prime balm, so fingers crossed that'll last. But colour-wise, that is rather beautiful. Sorry, the sun is going in and out. Um, okay, so I sat down because I wanted to do an unboxing of Annette and Porter order that I did. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you might have seen that I shared a 15% off um, code for full priced shoes on Annette and Porter. And as I had a few pairs of shoes on my wish list, I picked up some, making the most of the small but not insignificant discount. So the f I bought three pairs of shoes, the first of which. Ooh, they are beautiful oh my goodness okay the first of which is this pair of trainers they're from a brand called I think it's APG or APL Athletic Propulsion Labs not a brand um, that I've heard of or heard much about but I thought these trainers were absolutely beautiful my current trainers let me show you um, that I wear literally every day to go to the gym are these. They are from Adidas and they are the Boost trainers. They're sock trainers so you literally just pull them on. I absolutely love these. They're so comfortable. I do stick them in the washing machine but as I wear them all the time they do get a little bit grubby because I literally wear them to walk the 15 minutes to the gym every day, twice a day. So yeah, they're a bit grubby. Um, so I did want to pick up another pair. can't find this exact pair anywhere online which is so annoying. But these I thought looked really similar and they're beautiful. So they are also slip-on, I can't be bothered with laces. And if you're doing like a spin class or a yoga where you don't even need trainers on, it's obviously really quick to whip them on and off. Also when it's cold, I tend to wear tracksuit bottoms over my leggings to get to the gym. So if you're faffing about untying your laces, taking your tracky bottoms off and then putting your shoes back on again and retying your laces, it's just pain in the bum. So that's why I prefer laceless trainers. As you can see, these are like a pink um, sparkly effect there. You've got this elasticated section over the top and they are pull-on sock trainers with a white sole. Um, they look pretty similar to the Adidas ones, so hopefully they're going to be just as comfortable and just as amazing because <gasps> love those. 
Next, oh my goodness, you guys might have spotted this pair of Chloe shoes on my wish list on my blog. And again, when I saw the 15% off, I thought now is the time to do it. So this is actually the first time I'm seeing these sandals in real life. Oh, that's really cute. They come with two little dust bags. This is really funny, but actually what I'm going to use this for, and I was, that's so weird. This is kind of the secret in action because I was going to make myself a pouch this size for um, my reusable cutlery. So I have reusable plastic cutlery in my handbag, so I don't need to use disposable cutlery when I'm out and about. And yet when you've used it, you have to put used cutlery back in your handbag. And also when it's clean, you have clean cutlery in the bottom of your handbag. So I was gonna make myself a pouch to put them in, but then I was like, no, I will find the right shaped dust bag that I can use instead. And obviously most dust bags, sorry, this is so boring. Most dust bags are square. So I didn't, um, so I thought they would have loads of like excess fabric, but this, not only am I gonna be super bougie with a Chloe pouch for my cutlery, but it is the perfect size. So I can put my cutlery in here, do it up. Oh, yes. Anyway, oh my goodness. I must be the first person in history to get more excited about a dust bag than a pair of Chloe sandals. So the sandals in question are these. Oh my goodness, they are just as beautiful in real life as I hope they would be. They're actually quite wide looking. So I hope they don't make me look like I've got flippers on the end of my feet. They look like this. They have got a beautifully thick sole with a spongy um, Chloe kind of, I don't know, item here. The straps... I mean, they're really simple. They do look beautiful quality, but they're, if, if you don't want to, then you really don't have to spend this amount of money on sandals. But I just wanted something to jazz up my beach outfits because I like to wear kind of cheap and cheerful little beach dresses um, and bikinis and then wear something really stylish with my handbag and my shoes. So for upcoming beach holidays, I think these will be absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna try them on for you in a second. And then the third pair of shoes are from Todd's. You may actually have already seen these. So I did a vlog um, about a month ago and I did a net porter order and unboxing when I got my fabulous big Valentino canvas bag. I bought this exact pair of shoes, but then I decided they were just a little bit too expensive and I returned them. Um, but then when I saw the 15% off, I was like, yes, now is the time when I will keep them. So, they are these beautiful gold mules. I love mules, I love slip-on shoes, I love gold, I love metallics, and I've got the Nicholas Kirkwood ones, the Bayer uh, pointed toe flats, which I love but I thought that these would be a really nice addition to my collection and I don't own anything from Todd's but I always hear really good things. So I thought they were very stylish, very elegant and chic and timeless and a really, really nice versatile addition to my shoe wardrobe and a pair of shoes I'll get a lot of use out of. So very chuffed with my little shoe collection. So I'm gonna have a whiz around now, do a bit of tidying up, get rid of um, or recycle my big net porter box. Actually, first, let me just show you how these new shoes look on. So first of all, working backwards, we have got the Todd's shoes. Really beautiful, easy to slip on and off, super comfortable. Um, I don't normally like rounded toe shoes, but I think there's something really classic and elegant about these. They actually feel quite big. Um, can you see where my toe is like coming up here? Like, that's where my toe is. So actually, if you're between sizes, I would definitely say to size down with these because they're pretty roomy i don't think they're going to fall off my feet or anything um and if you wear like if you're on your feet all day then your feet do swell up a little bit so hopefully they'll just be comfortable to wear all day but i can imagine myself wearing an outfit like this to travel in and then you've got some nice smart footwear but once you're on an airplane or on a train or something you can just slip them off slip some comfy socks on so yeah big fan of these so I did put some denim jeans on to try on the Chloe sandals because I thought they'd look really weird with leopard print trousers. They are so cool. I actually am in love with these. The only thing that's a little bit weird um, is that the shape of them, it's kind of like a coffin, which is a little bit weird. They're kind of coffin shaped, but when you've got them on, you don't really tell that. I love the thickness of the straps. I feel like that's going to make them really nice and comfortable. I love the statement of the Chloe text on the um, on the top there. They look a little bit like espadrilles, but then they have got your toes peeking out. I think these will look amazing with white jeans as well, the little summer dresses. Can't wait for the temperatures to get warm and to wear these. And if you've got any beach holidays, then these will be amazing for that as well. So yeah, and considering they're 
um gosh what did i pay for these i think with a discount maybe like 215 obviously not cheap for sandals but if you just want to add a really nice designer touch to an otherwise really plain outfit like this one then i think they're a really nice way of doing that and finally the apl trainers i've been joined by a very handsome young boy um big fan of these super comfortable exactly how i hoped they would be and they look really really cool i don't think i'll wear them um with jeans i'm not really a jeans and trainers kind of gal but i will wear them to the gym and to classes and they're so comfy and they look so chic i love the colors i think they're a really flattering color especially with the <laughs> colors that i have in my wardrobe as you guys know so it is three out of three it is a hat trick with the netta porter shoe sale i'm very pleased with my collection Hi darlings, so I'm looking a little bit more dishevelled than last time I saw you because I've just got back from a spin class at Doghouse. Um, I did mention that I'd show you my fitness outfits. Yesterday was the first day in like 11 days so I didn't do a workout, but came back with a bang today because that was tough and I don't normally work out in the evenings, so feeling pretty exhausted. Um, I've just got the same Topshop jumper on. And then these leggings are actually like an aubergine shade with these kind of go faster stripes. And then a pink loose vest top underneath and my sweaty Betty. Um, this is actually a matching sports bar. It's got the same kind of purple shade there. I'm cooking a vegetable red lentil and chickpea dal, which I actually saw on Sammy Maria's um, What I Eat in a Day plant-based vlog while I was eating my lunch today and thought it looked delicious. And it's a Madeleine Shaw recipe, so that is what we've got for dinner. not the most beautiful of dinners but it smells and I have already had a little taste tastes amazing uh, red lentil and chickpea dal with asparagus and brown rice I was just saying to Charlie I have been unintentionally vegan today because my lunch was also spelt pasta with vegetable kind of fritters bon appetit good morning darlings it is now Friday a very quick uh, workout outfit because we are in a rush to head to our PT session so I've just got my grey Sweaty Betty um, workout vest on and an aubergine coloured sports bra. These are my Nike tracksuit bottoms that I wear just to keep my legs warm while we travel to the gym. And then underneath I've got these floral leggings. I'll catch up with you more when we get to the gym because we are running late. And then straight up, squeezing your lap through the back here. Yeah. It is now Friday afternoon. I uh, just got home. It's about half past three. Had a really good day today of uh, two really nice meetings, one of which was very productive, lots of brainstorming, and one was with the girls with um, from Pandora. So it was loads of really nice catching up and girly chats. So I thought I would check in and show you my Friday work out and about day out of the day. So I've got on on the top here should have chosen a better bra. Um, I've got on my Reese lemon coloured, I think it's cashmere, very soft jumper with the tight sleeve effect. I did actually get some necklaces out to wear with it but I forgot to put them on after the gym so it's looking a little bit bare. Uh, it was sunny to start with today so I did have my Fendi sunglasses on looking a little bit bug-eyed um, but didn't need those this afternoon because it's now super cloudy. And then on the bottom I've got these Topshop culotte style trousers with a little button detail and the pleat down the middle. Just think they're quite a nice smart trouser for a day marching around London. And then footwear wise I've got my Nicholas Kirkwood pearl mules which have survived their first journey on the tube. 
Then I had my little Valentino, or not little, huge Valentino bag with me because I carried my gym stuff around with me. This is the heaviest bag in the world. That's the problem with me having big bags is that I will fill them. This has got my gym kit, my laptop, cameras, and all that kind of stuff in it. So this is what I was wearing today. Um, after my meetings, I went to Topshop and I had a couple of bits to exchange. So I have some new bits and I think I'm gonna show them to you. So let's do a little mini. Sorry if that cut out mid-sentence. I just had to change my battery, which I have done now. So I'm gonna give you a little mini within vlog Topshop haul. I picked up some really nice bits and bobs from the accessory floor. Um, okay, so I just chucked them all in my big bag. First of all, there's this pair of earrings, which I thought are quite similar to my mango earrings with the hanging pearl, but I really liked the addition of the shell on this one. So these were £8.50, pretty good bargain. I thought they were a really nice way of combining the shell trend and the pearl trend. Of course, I had to pick this up. I'm just obsessed with pearl hair clips. This one was £6.50. If I can find it on topshop.com, I will leave it linked down below, but I did buy them in store. So can't promise that everything will be available online. I bought some new underwear. Really like Topshop underwear. I find it really nice designs and good quality. Cute little lacy bra, and I got a matching pair of knickers, which you don't need to see. All right, the next thing that I got is this lovely white blouse, which I saw on Sinead Crow. I'll leave her Instagram down below if you don't follow her already. Uh, I think it was Sinead had this blouse, and it's really nice with a little tie detail in the middle. Planning a video on workwear outfit ideas, so I thought this would be perfect for that. Doesn't look like much when I'm just holding it up, but I thought when it's on, it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. So I picked up that. They had lots of really cute mini or micro handbags. I thought this looked like it could be a mulberry bag. Um, really sweet little teal or turquoise coloured bag with this very sweet little lock detail. It's not going to fit much inside at all, um, but it looks very cute indeed. I thought that would be a really nice finishing touch to a spring pastel coloured outfits and mini handbags are very on trend right now. As are round bags and they had this one styled on a mannequin and it looked amazing and I'm a sucker for things styled on mannequins so I got that one. It opens like so. Fairly roomy inside. Uh, this is something I won't be able to wear until the temperatures rise, but I couldn't resist this little top. It's got broderie anglais style material, um, and then this kind of buckle in the middle, balloon style sleeves. It's just very me. I thought this with the pair of jeans is going to be a really sweet little outfit. I was hoping I was going to see this in the store. I saw it online. It is a pink trench coat. No, I did not need another coat, but I fell in love and I knew you guys would like it as well. So it's a trench coat, very plain standard trench coat uh, shape. Gosh, it was £89. I don't think I thought it was quite that much. I think I thought it was like £49. Um, that'll teach me to double check prices. But yeah, beautiful dusty rose shade, which is very, as we all know, on trend for 2019. And then another outfit that I saw on a mannequin is this incredible suit. So the trousers are just plain suit trousers in this incredible teal colour, which I am obsessed with. I did get a size eight, whereas normally in Topshop trousers I'd get a size six, so hopefully they fit me. And then the jacket looks rather fabulous. Um, blazer style. Since my Reese pink blazer, I've become a little bit obsessed. And again, as I said, I'm planning that video on workwear. Uh, it's got a really chunky belt in the middle that really cinches you in. It's super flattering. So I'm excited to give this a try. I think it's going to be quite different for me. Uh, so yeah, that's the bits that I got from Topshop. I'll be featuring them in styling videos very soon. So I will, um, I will have inserted a couple of little try-on clips there. So I've got my shopping to sort out. Going to put on some comfy clothes and catch up with a few emails before making dinner. today as you just saw um, I briefly showed you my gym outfit for today which was another matching sweaty Betty set with my Nike um, warm-up jumper on we are mostly doing stretches in the gym so I kept the jumper on for most of the time 
Now we're about to drive an hour and a half to Portsmouth where Charlie is playing rugby and I'll just probably take the dogs for a walk while they're warming up and stuff. We normally arrive about an hour and a half before the game begins so I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. Um, it's quite windy but it is sunny today so my outfit of the day for this Saturday is Starting from the outside, I've got my Chloe test bag. My mum actually found the crossbody strap at her house, so I'm very happy to be reunited with that. Um, I've got my Karen Millen leopard print coat on, just to add a little bit of pattern to the outfit. It's also got some nice deep pockets if I want to keep my hands warm. Might take a hat with me just in case, because I really don't like getting my head and ears cold. Um, and then I've got my Reese Tyne trousers, most versatile, comfortable trousers in the world, and my last year's Karen Millen grey suede boots. I have got wellies in the back of the car in case the pitch is muddy or wet. I've got a Marks and Spencer's Fermilon underneath, and this is a Zara cashmere jumper, so it should keep me nice and warm. And then just to add another little bit of style, I've got my Fendi sunglasses, so this is my chic but warm and toasty rugby watching Saturday outfit. Everything seems out of place this morning is an ordinary face. So we both just let it go. You say hi and I just say hello. It's a little lonely but it will be the only Charlie and I have just been out for a nice long dog walk but it is so windy outside, it's literally blusterous out there. Um, but now we are heading very excitingly to, oh gosh, um, Hawksmoor on Air Street which is one of our favourite restaurants and they do an amazing Sunday roast. So I've chosen my outfit accordingly, I wanted to be comfortable, smart because Hawksmoor is quite a smart place but also lots of room to eat a lot so I didn't want to wear any tight trousers because then I just have to undo them which is never a good look in a lovely smart restaurant so I've gone for a dress this one is as you can see a leopard print dress it's quite low cut it's got these buttons that go around here um but I do have my Gilly Hicks bra on which actually creates a really nice little lace detail here. Uh, it's got these buttons that go down there and then it's midi length and I've popped it on with my Karen Millen boot. There's also a little tie at the back which I might undo if I get too full. And then for my outerwear I always instantly feel so smart when I put this coat on. I've put on my Reese uh, long white coat and then I've got my Lansdowne bag from Aspinall which I think goes really really nicely. I don't need much with me I'm just going to take my phone, my camera, my card and a little hairbrush. So this is my Sunday afternoon outfit of the day. Let's get going. We are now back home again. It is a couple of hours later, had the most amazing roast dinner. I feel so full. That was probably one of the best roasts I've ever had. If you come to London, I would definitely recommend going to Hawksmoor for a Sunday roast. Um, as you can see, I'm now in my super comfy clothing, my Another Stories jumper and my Kate Spade leopard print trousers. I'm gonna sign off the vlog here and for the rest of Sunday afternoon, it's 3.30 now. Charlie's just gone over to a friend's house to watch Man United football and I am gonna do some de-popping. So I'm gonna head up to the loft, pull down all the clothes that have sold over the last week and there are still some left so I will leave my depop link down below. 
um, and I've got a lot of packaging up to do so I think I might put Marie Kondo on Netflix um, to inspire me to do more clearing out and that's it so that's the end of the week I really hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog and what I wore this week and what I wore to work out if you got to the end then please leave the word clear out um, down below so I can see who got to the end and as always do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs up if you like these long videos subscribe if you're new if you haven't yet and I'll see you soon in the next one bye tell me how and I'll do it babe Cause I just wanna make you feel what we do about you So just tell me how and I'll do it babe